All right, back to the lines now. Let's start it up tonight at 412-575-2600. We're going to go to Tom and Crafton. Tom, you're first up tonight. What's going on? Hey, good evening, Bob. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing uh, well, except for the old buckos. Hey, I've uh, been watching this team for so many years, and the bottom line is, Bob, they just ain't good enough. They're, they, they're mediocre in so many areas. Their hitting is so weak. I mean, when you put two and sometimes even three guys in the lineup, that are not even hitting, I mean, they're hitting under 200, and, and plus, mm. except for that uh, seven home run game the other day, they have no power. There's, there's not a threat there. Oh, by the way, first of all, I, or I should say congrats to, to Paul Skeens for making the, uh, mm -hmm. the all-star game. But I wanted to ask you if you saw, did you see Jason Mackey's column recently about the Pirates, the lack of fundamentals? Yeah. They, he, also, he also mentioned how their lack of discipline, you know, along with the Well, same. you know what, Tom, we saw some of that today, and thank you for the call. Uh, Michael A. Taylor continues to bat or bunt with two strikes, and he can't bunt. I don't know what the deal is there, but you gotta, if you're going to execute that, you got to get it down. Then when it's two strikes, you just don't do it, and he's done it repeatedly that way this year. And then O'Neill Cruz uh, bobbled the uh, relay throw. I don't know if he would have gotten uh, Lindor out in the eighth inning or not, but those are little things, but they add up and they make a big difference. So, yeah, and you know, listen, I think their offseason uh, was not a very good one when you look back now. You've gotten so much money into a role this Chapman. He's been wild. He's, he's not going to be here next year. Uh, they paid him $10.5 million. Grandal's been okay, not great. He, he's not a good hitter. Uh, and then you add into that uh, what you got from Michael A. Taylor in center field. As far as on offense is concerned, not much whatsoever. Uh, it was rare the other night to see Grandal and Taylor go back-to-back -back in that 14-run uh, game, which featured seven home runs. They just, uh, you know, basically... Um, a lot of guys who should be doing better, and, and I'm including the guys who've been here. Uh, Key Brian Hayes has got to step up and do better. He can't have three home runs and hit 220, not in a power position. Jack Sawinski has struggled, although I thought he might be getting some progress coming up. And Henry Davis is still down in AAA, although he's active now after these concussions. They need him to be the real deal. And if he's not, um, then that's going to be a massive uh, bad look for Ben Sherrington in his first pick uh, overall two years ago to get Henry Davis. Back to the lines, Dave in the north side is joining us right now on the Ireland Contracting I, Nightly Sports Call. What's up? I don't like to say, I don't like the power to put nine, nine righties. I like to see some lefties in against the lefties for a change. I'm tired of seeing that. He's been he's been taking off Talos lately. I, I don't like it. I'm gonna let you know about it, Bob. I'm yeah, I mean sometimes you get into this righty lefty thing and it really hurts you. Uh, two of the hottest hitters were Cruz and Tellez. And they eventually both got in this game today. But you know what? When you need wins, man, I'm sorry. These days off or whatever you're doing with them, and I get it. It's a long season. There are times for it. But there are a lot of other teams that use these guys left and right. Reynolds, I think, has a hitting uh, or a consecutive game streak now. I don't think he's missed a game all year. Um, and, and if guys want to play, let them play. And maybe they could work themselves out of it while in the game instead of missing time or whatever the case may be. Now, pitchers are different, but I'm talking about position players. And if you're good and if you're real good and if you're supposed to be one that carries a team offensively, you should play most of the time. Rick in Squirrel Hill is joining us right now on KDK+. Plus. What's up, Rick? Hi, Bob. Hey, I think uh, Derek Shelton constantly is proving he's one of the worst managers uh, in baseball. I mean, one of the hardest hitters has been Telez. The other day he hits a grand slam and a home run. Doesn't start him Saturday or today. They bring Palacio up. He doesn't play today. How else is Cruz going to learn how to hit lefties if you don't play him against lefties? I think he should be in every day. I think uh, Derek Shawnee relies on some kind of weird analytics. How about just managing? And how about having the same lineup? Uh, maybe three days in a row at least every day yeah. changes the I, pre lineup. I prefer that. I think Derek's a really smart man, and I also think that sometimes managers are victimized by what they have to work with. And, you know, there was a time when Tellez was struggling badly and they had to go to Connor Joe. He got hot, then he didn't get hot. And, um, you know, sometimes you go with percentages. As he said, Lindor today, one for 11 against Chapman all time. So um, that didn't look good from the Mets' point of view, but the way Chapman was going, that's where I would have made I would have made a change earlier, just in my opinion, uh, because I think, you know, look at Kyle Nicholas, uh, although he's been wild at times too. Uh, the way Chapman was going, I didn't have enough confidence, although, as Derek Shelton said, he was just one pitch away from ending the game twice, and one was a foul tip that Grandal could have held on, but he didn't. Tom and Baldwin is next up. Hello, Tom. How are you tonight? Hey, Bob. 
Hey, I, first off, the, the good news was I went to the game Friday night. It was off. <laughs> good choice. <laughs> yeah, but then, uh, you know, they followed it up. And I, I just wanted to talk about all the screw-ups this team does. And I'm wondering if there's any any repercussions. Uh, this team, you know, the pitcher doesn't cover. They don't hit the cutoff. Um, Cruz, I've seen him make the first out of third. I've seen him make the last out of third. And there have been a lot That's of pickups, a pickoffs uh, yeah. of late, too. They and... pick Taylor off, sleeping at second base. Yeah, you can't I've do that. I've seen McCutcheon not run. He was at second base the other night, doesn't run on the third out. I mean, that's that's a little league move there. Well, you know, you know repercussions, you're going to have to ask them inside. I don't see any that take place, you know, on the field in terms of playing time. Sometimes the best thing you could do is reduce playoff or playing time to people who do sort of that stuff. But again, you only have so many players on this team who are playing well right now. So you got to take advantage of whatever you can, I guess at this point. I still think this is a player personnel thing more so than anything else. I really do. Um, they just don't have enough good hitters. And whether that's they're not talented enough to hit or they just aren't developing enough to hit. I see that Miguel Andujar is out in Oakland right now hitting 296 since he left here. And I also saw that Ronzi Contreras, and I did not like the move to get rid of him. There may have been something behind it that I'm not aware of, but he's a 24-year-old kid, whatever he is, 24, 25. He still has a lot of talent. They acquired him in a trade. And that also makes me look back to when the, <laughs> the deal was made for Clay Holmes. I never thought Clay, and I don't blame them for trading Clay Holmes. Uh, they brought in a guy who they thought was going to be a good outfielder for them, and that's not turned out to be. But Clay Holmes has developed very nicely in New York with the Yankees, and they've turned him into an all-star closer. So go figure. Um, I don't know. To me, it kind of sounds more like guys don't develop here as fast as they should, especially hitters. Not so much pitchers, but hitters. They have to come up with more hitting, and they have to have it homegrown. But who's the next down there in the minors to come up? at a homegrown level. I'm not sure there's anyone. Let's go to Mike in Newcastle. Mike, how are you tonight? Welcome to the show. Well, how you doing tonight, buddy? All right, what's up? Not too much. I have a problem with the lineup construction. I think your top four hitters need to be uh, McCutcheon, Reynolds. Nick Gonzalez should consistently be the 3 0 hitter because he's one of the best RBI men we have on this team. And then Cruz at the cleanup spot. I don't know why Nick's not moved up in the lineup, in my opinion. Well, he what was you earlier, you know. Problem? He was. He was batting cleanup at, at one point of this season. And he may be the one guy who has developed, um, you know, in the system. And hopefully it'll continue. He went through a little bit of a bad streak there. But that also came on the heels of him getting a day off after he had just gone through a really hot streak. And that's one of my reasons why I keep playing guys who are hot. You'll get a day. They've had plenty of days off. They can do that. Um, yep. Sometimes they get they sit and the reasons are just they needed a rest. I don't know. They're 25 years old. I don't think they need much of a rest. If you're hot, especially, I keep playing them. Uh, Dave in South Park joins us now. Hey, Dave. Hey, Bob. Just want to talk about Shelton putting the lineup together. Uh, look at the Braves and the Yankees. They have the same damn lineup. The Braves especially. Night. Yep. And they so do. But they also have very good players who are all stars. And <laughs> so, how do you not find consistency? Try, try that. Just, I mean, we, we see him throwing everybody else up all the time. Try some consistency. You don't think that's a, no, a I, I, challenge? I do, but you, have, you also have to put up numbers, whoever is. You know, they've had so many uh, players who haven't played well or hit well that I don't know. He's trying to make something happen out of different situations. I personally think this team should run more. When they have, you know, games where they can't get anything generated, run more. The percentages are well in your favor. I don't care who the catcher is. Now, there are some better than others, but if you run, steal, create, manufacture, you might be able to carve out a run or two, where you, whereas before you couldn't do it or didn't even try to do it. I uh, look at, um, you know, Ellie De La Cruz in Cincinnati. Cincinnati runs like crazy, and they do end up running uh, out of innings at times, but more times than not, they create innings because of it. They did so last weekend when they swept the Yankees in New York. They, they ran all over the Yankees. They also hit a lot of home runs, too. But the point is, create if you can't hit. Chuck and Kirk, hang on. We'll get to your calls after we take a short time out. This is the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. We're on the air seven nights a week. Don't be a stranger. Join us for the number one Cochrane Sports Showdown tonight, 1135 as well.